Hi everybody, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in this video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make as much honey as possible. So let's get right into this YouTube video. So this video will be for early game, mid game, and late game players. I'll be going over, so like for all three types of players. And yeah, we'll start with early game. So early game, you know, you just start, you claim your high for the first time, or you you got like blue or red backpack, and you know, you're, you don't have personal photo hive yet. That would be considered early game in my opinion. And, yeah, you'd want to really focus on completing quests, especially uh, Science Bear and Black Bear's quests, especially. I'd say Black Bears are probably the most important, but just really focus on all of them. Panda Bear's quests, I'd say, though, you want to really get a head start on, because these quests get really, really annoying later. Like, trust me, they get really annoying with the Ant Challenge later. So you really want to start completing them early, like, a lot, like, really grind them early on. That would be very helpful. And for boosting-wise, you do not want to use any items whatsoever in the beginning of the game. Unless if you have an absolutely massive boost. I highly doubt that you would. But let's say you get some really overpowered code boost, or like you use a code, you get a really good boost or whatever. Yeah, use use some items. Otherwise, it just don't use any items. Like, I would just advise not to use any items. And just use these like red and blue and uh, mountaintop field dispensers because uh, that would be very helpful. When you use them, you can just grind the boost for 15 minutes in the field and you'll make a lot of honey from that. Or at least a decent amount of honey that will give you a slight boost ahead. And yeah, that could be extremely helpful for early game. And really, really focus on getting to 25 bees. This is extremely important. You really want to get to 25 bees so you can start grinding for the hive slots and get 35 bees. That's very important early game. For a mid game, you do, uh, you definitely want to keep, keep completing your quest. You might, you guys would be on like Star Journey, probably by then, maybe Spear Burst Quest, maybe. And when you're boosting, you do want to use some items. Maybe save the OP items for when you're better. Like, don't donate anything really overpowered until you're like really, really good. And, uh, yeah, like, you're gonna want to, like, if you have the winch item lock, donate something noob, like a treat, even I do that a lot, just so you can get some good boost, like, just a decent size boost that could be in the field that you're gonna grind in, or if it's a really good boost, purple potion, definitely, definitely donate a purple potion, it's not, I mean, it's a decent item, but you can definitely get another one of those, and if it's a really good size boost, like a mega boost, like a huge boost, yeah, definitely donate Pearl Potion. Get yourself a huge boost by using the Field Dispensers or Coconut Crab Dispenser, because it will always give you a 2 times Coconut Field Boost, like if you can kill Coconut Crab, which by then you probably can't yet, but you will be able to soon, so that, that can be very, very helpful. And yeah, you'll make a lot of honey and... Yeah, from that. And yeah, you want to still use the same technique for, like, if you're a beginner, you'd want to use these field dispensers, all of them. Like, let's say you're getting, like, a donate to the wind shrine, you're going to want to use all these field dispensers first, so then you know, like, if you get that, like, from using, donating a pearl potion, you know that you're going to grind in that field. You do want to kind of start going for a hive color, like, maybe at this point. You don't have to. That's mostly for late game, but... You, you want to kind of start thinking about, like, what kind of hive color you, you're going to be. I'd probably start thinking about it then. And early game, let's say that you're going, like, you have tons of demon bees, fire bees, other bees that are red, or blue bees, white bees, whatever. Then let's say you have a really, like, a, going towards a red hive already in the beginning of the game. Well, then your boosts are going to definitely want to be more towards these red field booster. Same with med with mid game. You want to do that same thing. If you're more le your hive is leaning towards red, use red boost um uh red boost uh red booster or red field booster because that could be very helpful or blue bo field booster if you're a blue hive or white if you're white hive or just use that cuz it can be blue or red fields that are just not low like used like that you can't get from these dispensers, blue and red dispensers. And yeah, for late game, this is the most, honestly, this is the most important part of the game where you really need to start boosting, right? Because it will make a humongous impact on your game. 
Especially since you don't want to be wasting honey. You also, like, you don't want to be wasting items. This is a really crucial point to not waste items. Especially, or, like, you know, the beginning is. But, like, what's gummy boots? You really got to save for things like gummy boots. Diamond mask, definitely. Demon mask, if you don't, like, you know, stingers. But, you know, you shouldn't be using stingers, really. If you don't have demon mask, you definitely should not be using stingers. I mean, in my opinion, you probably shouldn't be. Unless if it's like a special occasion, like Mondo Chick, you're going to get a good time or something. But the way to boost for being late game is you will definitely be able to defeat Coconut Crab. And you will be able to definitely use Wind Shrine. Probably have most, if not all, your quests completed. Probably every single quest, except for some Spirit Per Quest. That's late game normally. And yeah, you, like, you're probably going to have like maybe Coconut Canister, Petal Wand at least. If you're late game, you probably would have Petal Wand at least. I mean, I bet you would. And yeah, you're going to want to boost by donating to the, like, you're going to want to first use all the field boosters. By the, like, obviously, you want to do that first. And uh, free glue dispenser, uh, free royal jelly dispenser. It's extremely crucial for the beginning, so you don't waste gumdrops. Those are very crucial for gummy boots uh, and white hive, just anything. It's just, they're really crucial for the game. Uh, and... Yeah, that's the main thing for that, and you want to uh, donate to the Wind Shrine. Like, if this is a really overpowered boost, yeah, you might want to donate. A Pearl Potion could be really OP, but at this point in the game, maybe Diamond Egg or Gifted Diamond Egg. Like, your collection should be getting decently thick by then, or decently, like, big. Don't donate Mythic Eggs. Don't, when you're, uh, unless if it's massive. And when I mean massive, I'll explain that later. In the video. But yeah, like, diamond eggs, gifted diamond eggs, gifted gold eggs can help. You know, all that kind of stuff. That Those can be good, and purple potions are very good to donate. I have some here. I don't know why I have six. But I get them often. Yeah. Because purple potions you get often from, like, Mythic Meteor Showers, King Beetle, all that kind of stuff. Even Black Request in the beginning, and, like, the end, like, going towards getting a Mythic Egg from him. It's, it's good, trust me. It's very, very good. And you want to do that, and you do not want to waste any time whatsoever on your boost. You want to go to the field, you'll have diamond drenchers at least, by, like, you will. Trust me, you, you definitely will if you're late game. Uh, you'll have, or Supreme Saturator, it's either diamond drenchers or Supreme Saturator by then. And, uh, yeah, you're going to want to go in the field, place your diamond drenchers or Supreme Saturator right away. Use your field dice all on the way to get into the field. You're going to want to use gumdrops, jelly beans, all that good stuff. You're going to want to have a friend in the field while you're boosting. So they can either use gumdrops too, or just them using gumdrops, and you can share your jelly beans or they with them. Definitely do that, and they can also use jelly beans to uh, give jelly beans to you too, maybe. And that can be very helpful, but really have them to collect your jelly beans. That is crucial. That jelly bean bonus is insane. And yeah, from the spear per quest, yeah, you, know, you definitely will you have uh, be using a ton of jelly beans. You probably won't be that rich on jelly beans. I'm trying to find my jelly beans here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I have a decent amount. Like, you know, that's pretty good. But yeah, definitely, it's pretty OP. Jelly beans are pretty good. So, or like, really good for boosts. And yeah, they're just all around extremely good and needed for boost for sure. Like, you're gonna really, really want them. But yeah, uh, that's the main part for that of boosting, uh, late game. And like I said, late game is the most important time to get like for good to get good at boosting because also you can got that coconut crab dispenser where you can get two times coconut crab boost or like a 1x uh boost on your like that's really op like that's insane and that would be extremely crucial especially if you're white hive by then you really want to develop a hive color it, like for sure that could be very that would be very op you're gonna want to get a supreme go for start going for a supreme star amulet so really try to get those gifteds fast and maybe save a 10 billion for when you get all the gifteds and yeah you're gonna be set for that and then yeah you want to get the correct supreme star amulet which i can i will put the video in the um uh, link in the description to the videos I made, or both the links to uh, the video I made on, like, what the best hive color is, and the video on what the best Supreme Star Meal passive is. So, yeah, that's definitely going to help a lot. But for basics, uh, don't go for white because it's going to get nerfed soon, so don't do that. Uh, red or blue, either way. Red or blue is, they're both good. They're both equal. 
just go for whichever one your your hive is mostly. And if it's not, I would say maybe go for blue, probably. Because blue is going to get really buffed. Red is going to get slightly buffed, but bl blue is going to get, like, a mega buff. And it's going to be OP. So then definitely go for blue. Could help you with AFKing, too. It's the best hive color, like, to AF the best thing to AFK with a blue hive because your capacity... Doesn't fill up very often, so it's really helpful AFKing in Pine Street Forest with a Blue Hive. It's just good, or any field. So, yeah, definitely, that's just like a synopsis of that. And also, uh, for a Supreme Star Amulet, uh, if, it depends on what kind of hive color you have. Let's say you're going for, um, what's it called, a uh, Red Hive, then you're going to want to get, obviously, you're going to want to get Scorching Star. Also, something else like Guiding Star with it, uh, Star Shower. Star Saw, maybe I don't recommend getting that. Star Shower, Star or uh, Star Shower or a uh, Guiding Star would be very, very helpful. And same for Blue Hive, except instead of uh, ex except you're gonna want to get um, uh, what's it called the one that gives Bubble Blow or Pop Star, Pop Star. And yeah, you're gonna want uh, Pop Star with Bubble or um, you're gonna want Pop Star with the a guiding star or pop star with shooting star because that would be extremely helpful. And yeah, I don't recommend getting uh, star sauce; it's got nerfed. And white hive gummy star, obviously for that. But and uh, gu gummy or a uh, gummy star or guiding star or gummy star and star shower. But yeah, gummy star and star sh uh, saw just there. It just don't get star star saw. It's really not worth it. It used to be really op, but now it's not. So you know. I am definitely trying to get double amulet too. It's not easy to get. I still have scorching star, so it's sad. But yeah, it costs a lot. So yeah, that's like a basic synopsis of, of both those um, uh, hive color, best hive color to get, and best uh, best uh, supreme star amulet to get. See, so yeah, I hope that definitely. I hope that helped a lot. Cause yeah, it's definitely very useful knowing how to grind the right way, especially like that. That's. Very, very helpful thing in Beast from Simulator. So yeah, if you guys have any videos you want me to make or video suggestions, leave them in the comments. Remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell, and turn to all. And I'll see you next video. Bye, everybody.